Hello, I'm Pete Martin. Welcome to Fiddle Tips. Today I'm going to show you two bowing tips that can really help your sound in a short amount of time. The first tip is in your bow grip to keep your index finger on your bow hand bent at a 90 degree angle to the bow like this. I'm going to get closer to the camera so that you can see this. My index finger at this middle knuckle right here is going to bend a 90 degree angle over the top of the bow so you can see it like that. Now the rest of my bow grip is not nearly as critical as that is. Um, if you want to see a complete description of the bow grip, go to my uh, Fiddle Basics video on the right hand and arm uh, on the Petamar Press website and um, look at that. Everybody's bow grip is really different, but all the players who I like their sound the most have this 90 degree angle right here to where the part of the finger from the middle knuckle to where it joins the palm of the hand is on top of the bow like this, and the part from the middle knuckle down toward the tip is on the side of the bow. And you can see just like that how that's done. The other tip that I will say is the part of your right arm or your bow arm, which whichever uh, hand you hold the bow with, your bow arm should be about parallel with the line of your bow or maybe even a little above it. So right now I'm on the G string and my bow is pretty close to parallel with the floor, although not quite, but my arm from the shoulder to the elbow, you can see, is pretty close to parallel with the floor. I'm going to move a little bit to my left so you can see it a little more. So I'm talking about this part of the arm from the elbow to the shoulder. Now when I go, when I go to the D string, I drop my arm and let the bow come along. A, E. A, notice I just raised my arm and the bow came along. D, G. So if you have this index finger on your bow grip like this and you keep your arm up like this, it will almost always result in a fuller sound. So let me do two things now and you can hear the difference. I'm going to drop my arm down and I'm also going to move back in my bow grip so that my index finger is now, instead of 90 degrees bent like this on the bow, is now back more like this. With the lower arm, now listen. Right there, the bow is skidding across the string and not really grabbing. But if I move my arm, my bow grip, to that position again, where my index finger is 90 degrees, and I lift my arm to parallel with the floor, now listen to the difference. So anyway, try these and see if they don't help your own bowing. Good luck with that.